Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Fantastic Arts. Here's a chapter 2 of Make Every Day Creative and today we are going to learn about painting techniques. The first one is the dry brush technique. So when you use a color straight out of your palette or a color tube or bottle and apply it on a surface, it's called as a dry brush technique. Next up is a washing technique. In order to use this technique, you should dilute your colors in water or any other diluter. It gives you a very smooth texture and hence is widely used. Here comes our favorite palette knife technique. There are various types of palette knives available. If you guys want to make some amazing 3D textures, this technique is for you. All you need to remember is to apply a thick coat of paint straight away from your palette knife. So here's the kids favorite called the dabbing technique. You can use a piece of a paper, sponge, tissue, cloth that gives you some amazing textures on simply dabbing on the surface. Next up is the splattering technique. In this technique We use a fairly wet brush that holds on some color and we simply flick or splatter the paint on the surface. This technique is widely used to create starry nights and landscapes. Blending. Blending is preferably done with a flat brush. It is simply merging of the two colors right in between to give a smooth texture. It works well when the paint on the surface is wet. Next up is called stippling. Stippling means to paint dots. You can stipple with a round brush and create some amazing effects by simply applying varying amount of pressure on the brush. Layering. Layering as it sounds means to apply a paint in one layer after another. You can simply keep adding more and more refinement to your painting as you add more layers. Next step is detailing. Detailing is often used to create intricate and small parts of the painting. If you want some realistic and minute details, you can simply use a fine brush and create these details. Wet on wet technique. It simply means mixing of the color on the surface instead of a palette. This technique is preferably used for watercolors. 
In this video, as you all can see, I have applied water on the surface first and then I am taking color so that it gives me some amazing texture after it dries up. Next one is the cross hatch technique. I am sure not many of you all are aware about this technique, but this technique is used to create some amazing backgrounds to the painting. You simply need to create some crisscrosses with the help of your brush in order to create this beautiful texture. And the last one is paint in the blocks. So this is the simplest of all the techniques and usually used by the beginners. You can trace the drawings that you want to make and simply keep on adding paints to the empty spaces or blocks of this drawing. A lot of DIY sets are created using this technique. Thank you for watching guys if you have loved this video please hit a like subscribe and do share it with your friends and stay tuned for the third chapter that's going to come really soon signing off paintastic arts